Welcome to another Simply Diagnostics video. We're back here on this Mazda MX-5. Um, some of the suggestions before said put a sensor simulator on the map. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show you this now. Okay. Oh, nice little visual prompt there. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, we're using the um, the Ditex sensor simulator from AutoDitex.com. Um, we've got the um, the autocom here and we're just looking at some live data using OBD so at idle now with a hot engine short term is zero long term fuel trim is 5.5 math is 1.9 grams per second IAT at 33 and you can see both O2 sensors are reading lean and the lambda is also reading lean in the equivalence ratio I'm actually back probed into the signal wire on the map there with the scope just for, well not the scope actually, graphing multimeter um, just to show you what we've got, so we've got like I say 1 point, I think it was 1.2 volts 1.143 1 live volts live voltage okay now the specification was 1.4 volts at idle but you can see there I've got my output set to 1.3 volts well, let's have a look what happens when I turn it on so I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to leave you looking at live data so this is only at 1.3 volts look already my short term fuel trim is now maxed out to minus 25 the sensor one, bank one sensor one has gone massively rich my O2 sensor bank one sensor two has gone rich and my, my lambda, my equivalence ratio is also showing massively rich and that's a difference of 0.9 of a volt yeah, so now literally current we're only at 1.3 volts so we've gone up 0.9 of a volt and everything's gone massively rich you can see there our airflow has gone up to 2.89 grams per second so it's not gone up by very very much and both our O2 sensors have gone rich our lambda's gone rich so what clue and you can see there our short term is maxed out at minus 25 long term still at 5.5 and listen what happens now when I turn the output off the vehicle nearly cuts out immediately the fuel trims are coming back down the short term both O2 sensors gone lean the lambda's gone lean so what my question to you is is how valid is that test that I've just run there is is there any validity to me doing that test so for example now I've put it up to 1.4 volts okay and I turn it on so that's what it should be. See, bank one sensor two has gone lean, uh, it's gone massively rich. Bank one sensor one has gone massively rich. The lambda, massively rich. Short term, it's taking fuel away as quickly as it possibly can. So what does that what is this what is this telling us with the correct airflow now going in the vehicle is extremely rich what possible tips could that be giving us I'll let you have a think about that and I'll look at the I'll look back in the comments in about an hour's time there's a very very big clue there thanks for watching you're awesome